Okay, so let's continue our example. We have here example number four. So for example number four, we have a kite is 40 feet high. Okay, so with 50 feet of cord out. If the kite moves horizontally at five miles per hour directly away from the boy flying it, how fast is the cord being rolled out? So if we have here a boy is flying a kite, uh, we have here the kite, See, that is the kite. Okay. A kite is 40 feet high. So the kite now is 40 feet high with 50 feet of cord. So at 40 feet of the kite, we have here, this is the cord of the kite, which is 50 feet. Okay, so yan yung cord. If the kite moves horizontally at five miles per hour, so the rate of the horizontal movement of the kite is say, say this horizontal, say we have X, so our variable here is X. So our uh, rate is dx with respect to time is now equal to five miles per hour. So our required is how fast is the cord being rolled out? So if the wind blew, Siyempre, hahaba yung cord natin. Yun yung hahanapin natin. So how fast is the cord being rolled out? Okay, so pagka humangin siya, okay, so kahit 40 feet pa rin siya. So we have here the x and say the length of the cord is this length of cord let's say that is s so ang hahanapin natin is the ds over with respect to time that is how fast the cord is being rolled out ito yung hahanapin natin Okay, so pagka humangin siya, okay, pagka humangin siya, yung cord natin, pro-roll out siya, diba? Mahaba yung uh, cord natin. So ang hahanapin natin is gaano daw or gaano kabilis yung cord natin na uh, humaba. Okay. So, magro-roll out siya. Okay? So, again, in this figure, in our illustration, we will be having a right triangle, di ba? This is a right triangle. Okay? So, makukuha natin we have here 40, we have X, and we have S. Okay, so this is a right triangle. So pwede natin gamitin yung Pythagorean theorem. That is the hypotenuse S squared equal to X squared plus 40 squared. That is the for the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so we can now differentiate this with respect to time. Okay, so ito yung equation natin. Differentiate natin siya with respect to time. That is 2S. DS with respect to time is equal to 2X DX with respect to time. And of course, the different derivative of a constant is equal to zero. Kaya zero. Okay? So DX DT, we have DX DT. Ang hahanapin natin is the DS DT. That is how fast is the cord being rolled out okay so we need to find the value of s okay so we have here 50 feet 
Okay? So, pagka meron tayong 50 feet, ito, yung equation 1 natin, and we have here this equation 2. Okay? If we have an S of 60 feet, 50 feet, ano yung X natin? So, makukuha natin yung value ng X here. Okay? So, using the Pythagorean theorem, that is S squared, that is X squared plus 40 squared. Okay? S natin is we have 50. So, 50 squared, that is X squared plus 40 squared. 40 squared. So our x now is the square root of 50 squared minus 40 squared. Okay. So using your calculator, 50 squared minus 40 squared, the square root, ang x natin is equal to 30 feet. Okay. So meron tayong x na 30 feet. Okay. So substituting now here, all the values in our derived equation, okay? So 2 multiplied by the our S, 50, ds over dt, that is equal to 2 multiplied by x, that is 30 feet, okay? So that is multiplied by dx dt, which is 5 miles per hour, okay? So we have 5 miles per hour. Okay, so we can now have our DSDT, okay, so DSDT, okay, so 30, this is in feet, 50, this is in feet, so magka-cancel yung feet, so miles per hour, so 30 over 50, multiplied by 5 miles per hour, that is equal to 30 times 5, 150 divided by 50, that is 3 miles per hour. So our uh, DS over DT is being rolled out 3 miles per hour. So e convert natin ito into feet per second. Para ma-determine talaga natin. Okay, so convert natin ito. Or you can have this as your answer. But since our chord is in feet. Okay, so in, in feet. Kunin natin in feet per second. Okay, so we have here ds now dt is equal to 3 mile per hour. Okay, pagka i-convert nyo yan, 1 mile Okay, so one mile is equal to ilang feet. Okay, that is one mile is equal to 5 to 80 feet. So magka-cancel yung mile. Okay, so one hour is ilang second. That is 3,600 seconds. So magka-cancel din yung hour. So ang matitira na lang feet per second. So our D is, okay, the rate of the cord being rolled out is now equal to 3 multiplied by 5 to 80 divided by 3,600. Using your calculator, we can get 4.4 feet per second. Okay, so this is the rate of the cord being rolled out. 4.4 feet per second. So this will be now our answer for this particular problem. Okay. So moving on, we have another example here. So for our example, we have here a rectangular true. Okay. A rectangular true is 10 feet long and 3 feet wide. So if we have here a rectangular true. This is 10 feet long and we have 3 feet wide. Okay. So how fast though is the surface rises if water flows at a rate of 12 cubic feet per minute? So meron tayong water which has a rate of 12 
cubic feet per minute. So if that is the water, so how fast will this rise? Okay. So how fast this water rises if our water flows at a rate of 12 cubic feet per meter? Okay, so the flow rate 12 cubic feet per meter is actually the derivative of our volume with respect to time. Okay, so we can get the volume equation. Okay, so the volume of a rectangular product is the length times width times height. So we have here height. Okay, so the volume now is equal to the length is 10 feet, the width is 3 feet, and the height, which is an unknown, so unknown variable. Okay, so our volume is 30 feet, 30 h in feet cube. So yung h natin dapat is in feet. So the equation, our equation for volume is equal to 30 h. Okay, so we have now our equation. Ang kukunin natin is how fast the water rises. So ang hahanapin natin is the derivative of the height with respect to time. So how fast will this rise? Okay, so yan yung hahanapin natin. The derivative of the height with respect to time. That is the required, how fast the water rises. So we have here equation volume that is equal to 30H. So pagka derive po yan, dV with respect to time is equal to 30DH with respect to time. Okay? So meron na tayong dV dt which is equal to 12. So 12 cubic feet, so 12 feet cube per minute. Okay, so per minute. That is equal to 30 dH over D. Okay, so dH over DT now is equal to 12 feet cube over minute. Okay, so this is in feet squared, di ba? This is in feet squared kasi wala pa tayo nung H. Pagka meron na tayong H, magiging feet cube pagka volume na yun. Okay, but since in equation, 30 feet squared multiplied by the H. Okay, so that is 30 feet squared. So if you divide 12 feet cube over per minute, Divide by 30 feet squared, our dH with respect to time now, feet cube, magka-cancel yan, merong feet na isang matitira kasi feet cube over feet squared. Kaya merong isang feet. 12 divided by 30, that is 0 0.4 feet per minute. So this is the rate of the water rises. Ito yung rate niya, 0 0.4 feet per minute. That is how fast the surface of the water rises. 0 0.4 feet per minute. Okay? So I hope you understand this uh, particular problem. So let's move on to our Last, I think this is our last problem for time rates. So we have a boy on a bike rides north of five miles. So, so nag ride siya five miles through north. Then turn east. So nag turn daw siya sa east. Okay. So if he rides 10 miles per hour, at what rate was his distance to the starting point? So if this is his starting point, okay, ano daw yung distance changing? So say this is the distance, S, 
Okay. So this is the distance to the point changing. Okay. So at what rate? So ang hahanapin natin is the ds with respect to time. Okay. So at what rate was his distance to the starting point after two hours after he left that point? So ito yung end point niya. Okay. So if this is S, this is 5 miles, hindi mo pa alam kung ilan yung nilakbay niya doon sa horizontal nung nag-turn east siya. So let's say we denote this as X. Okay? We denote that as X. So again, this is a right triangle, Pythagorean theorem. We can derive our equation that is S squared equal to 5 squared plus X squared. Okay, so that is our equation. If we differentiate this with respect to time, that is 2s ds with respect to time, that is equal to, this is a constant, the derivative of a constant is zero, so 2x dx with respect to time. Okay, so this is our equation. Ito yung hinahanap natin, ito yung required. So how can we get the value of S, the value of X, okay, and the value of dx, dt, okay? So the dx, dt, okay, so sabi niya, if he writes 10 miles per hour, okay, so yung rate niya is 10 miles per hour. After 2 hours, after 2 hours, so meron tayong 2 hours, andito na siya. Ano daw yung distance? Okay? So we can get, actually, we can formulate our equation here to find for the x. That is 5, okay? So 5 plus x, okay? So ito yung total distance na linakbay niya. That is 5 plus x, okay? Ang rate niya, this is actually equal to, ang rate niya is 10 miles per hour. And we have after 2 hours, andito na siya sa end point niya. So 10 miles per hour multiplied by 2 hours, makukuha natin yung distance, total distance of this. Okay, meron tayong rate, meron tayong time. So, rate times time, makukuha natin yung distance which is 20 miles. So, yung buong nilakbay niya is 20 miles. So, that is 5 plus 8, x. Okay? So, makukuha natin ngayon that x is equal now to 20 minus 5. So, 15 miles yung nilakbay niya nung nag-turn siya ng east. So, this is 15 miles. That is our x, 15 miles. Okay? So we have now our x. We can calculate now our s, s using this formula of Pythagorean. S is squared is equal to 5 squared plus our x is squared now is 15 squared. Ba? So this is equal to 5 squared. That is 25 plus 15 squared. That is 225. Ba? So this is equal to 250. So S now is the square root of 250 miles. Okay, so this is our S. So we have now S, we have the value of X, we have the rate of dx dt, which is the rate, his rate, that is 10 miles per hour. So we can now substitute, okay, so so in here, our equation here, so baba natin siya. Okay. So we have 2. Or i-cancel na lang natin yung 2 dito para S na lang siya. So cancel yung 2. So we have S ds dt. That is equal to x dx. Okay, so we can now find our ds over dt, that is x over s dx dt. 
Okay, so substituting now the value of x is the value of x is 15. Okay, the value of s is the square root of 250. And the value of our dx dt is 10 miles per hour. Okay, so in miles, in miles, magka-cancel yan. So miles per hour yung. Okay, so rate. Rate ng distance changing. So that is 15 multiplied by 10 divided by the square root of 250. So that is see, the square root of 10 miles per hour. So this will be now our answer in this particular problem. Okay. So that is for uh, the examples for time rates. So I will be giving you a sit work later to gauge if you understand our lesson. Okay.